What's up everyone? Today we're here on 5th Avenue in Playa del Carmen and we're going to check out the La Casa del Habano here in beautiful Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Let's go inside, check out the lounge, and more importantly, let's check out the prices of your favorite Habanos. So here we are inside the La Casa del Habano in Playa del Carmen on 5th Avenue. We're going to go check out the humidor and check out their inventory and let's see what prices they got. The humidity just kicked on so it's a little foggy in here. So let's take a look at what we have. We have the H. Upman boxes. Uh, we got Magnum 50s. And there's also some H. Upman Connoisseur Bs. Very nice. They have the Ramon Ionis. Are these the Gigantes? Yes. See, si, Gigantes. And let me put my cigar. The price is 1,070 pesos. So again, depending on the conversion rate, guys, uh, right now the exchange rate is about 17 pesos for a dollar, one US dollar. And basically, uh, it's gonna come out, those Ramon Ionis Gigantes are gonna be about $60, roughly, maybe give or take a dollar or two. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? They have a pretty well stocked line of the Partagas series. We got part we got the P2s, there's D5s, and there's D4s. One thing you have to understand, guys, is that in Mexico the there is a very high tax or impuestos on tobacco here. And so again, depending on which country you are from you may have a you know slight discrepancy in prices. So here are some um, Bolivar. These are, I think, these are just the Bolivar Robustos. Royal Coronas. Oh, Royal Coronas. And the price is in, and, and remember, we're in Mexico. This is, even though they use a dollar sign, it's in pesos. So it's 748.50, say 749. So you're looking at about, 37 38 dollars per stick for the uh, Bolivar Cor Royal Coronas let's take a look again the shop has a decent inventory uh, if you want Partagas D4s you have a box of uh, let's see what are these, are these? Salamones. Salamones okay and these are I don't culebras. I don't have my oh the Culebras no you're not gonna I'm not a big fan of Culebras. Let's go back to the Partagas though series real quick. The D4 guys. $821 pesos. So you're gonna be paying about $45 for a D4. Ooh, that one hurts. Okay. But they got Monte Cristos. And of course everyone likes Monte Cristo number twos, right? The number two is going to be 946 pesos. So divide that by the exchange rate. Um, you're going to pay between almost 50 bucks. Wow. They also have the petite number twos, which you don't see these too often. And those are 765. So those are about 40. Uh, again, pretty, pretty steep pricing. Um, Hey, they got uh, the Monte Cristo double Edmundos here um, 
for 1050 pesos which comes up to about 60. The same goes for the Open Eagles which are about 1035 so you're looking at almost about $55. Um, and then we have, they have plenty of Romeo Julietas. Um, I think they have, those are, oh, the Nobles. They have the Nobles, the Dimas, and what are these right here? These are all the Dimas. And then mixed in, uh, oh, they have the Hidalgos. So these are the Linea de Oros, I think. Hidalgos are Linea de Oros, uh-huh. And what do we else do we have here? Uh, Romeo Julieta is okay. So I'm not a big Romeo Julieta fan, guys. Uh, the DMS are, wow. Uh, for the Linea de Oros, you know that this was a line that they released uh, about, I'd say, three years ago. Uh, it could be more, could be four. Uh, so the DMS is, uh, or excuse me, these are DMS, it's that I can't even read. It's the Dianas, and these are 1,800 pesos. So you're almost boring about $120 a stick for these. And I know I'm gonna get all the comments in YouTube about, oh, that's how ridiculous they are. But again, guys, you gotta remember, every country has different tobacco import taxes. And so it is what it is. I mean, there's no point in complaining. I'm just trying to bring you pricing here in Playa del Carmen and Cancun, so that now you have a baseline when you go, if you travel anywhere else in the world, in Latin America, you at least have a baseline of what the prices are for some of the different sticks. And also, you know, you can, it just helps you from a shopping standpoint, right? So let's take a look. Here's the other uh, Romeo Julieta. Uh, ¿Qué es estos? Uh, white church. Oh, the White Churchills, okay. So the White Churchills, and these are uh, 926 pesos, which comes out to about $48. But here's something interesting, guys. Here are the Romeo Julieta Tacos, which are the Limitados, limited edition, from 2018. And these are 940, what was it? Sorry. 949 pesos no 999 1000 let's just call it a thousand thousand pesos are about thousand pesos is going to be about say let's say sixty dollars sixty let's say sixty five dollars i don't have the conversions in my head right now because uh, when the exchange rate was 20 pesos to a dollar it was very easy to figure out the price but now it's 16 it's 17 dollars uh, that's the bank exchange rate. If you go to the exchange houses here and try to exchange cash, uh, U.S. dollars for pesos, then you're basically uh, getting 16 to 1. Uh, so what I always recommend is pay by credit card uh, if you're in a foreign country because you're gonna, your, your credit card, your bank rate is going to give you a much better exchange rate um, than if you were to just exchange cash. But either way, these are going to be about $65.00. And again, $65, okay, versus a Diana uh, from the Romeo Julieta Linea de Oro line of 1,800 pesos, which is about, is gonna run you about, probably about $120. I personally would rather buy, if I'm gonna buy a stick and I'm gonna be spending that much, I'm gonna be buying a Limitado, right? I don't know why the price is like that, however, um, again, it, it, it's, it's just a matter of getting the most value um, for your money, guys, and for the quality of the smoke, right? So let's take a look at the box. One thing you'll notice on all the boxes here in Mexico, they do have, oops, thank you. Uh, I said I don't, no, 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 okay. Um, one thing they do have here is always, the government of Mexico always places health warning stickers completely over the box on the sides and what's even worse is on the bottom. So you cannot see the date uh, of fabrication or the, the date that the cigar was made. In this case, we know the date of the cigar 
because for the simple fact that um, it's the, it's a limitado, and so the, the, the year is right there. So in this case, we know what the year is, but um, another trick to check, and let me get another example of this, is in Mexico, uh, Max Gutman, when they have the, he's the uh, head of the uh, distribution of Habanos in Mexico, all of Mexico. Uh, when the shops receive a, a box, uh, they get a small label uh, placed on it, and this basically just gives the information of the cigar box uh, when, not necessarily when the box was manufactured. It doesn't, they don't copy the box code. However, they do list a received date. Now, this date gives you somewhat of an idea of when the box, um, you know, potentially, it's not accurate, but in this case, this box was uh, received by uh, S.A. Haban, or excuse me, Habanos, Mexico, uh, on December, you know, December 2022. So that is the received date. That's not necessarily the date of manufacture. However, you know at least minimum it's probably going to be the box code is going to have a, a, a date of 2022 or potentially earlier. So I just wanted to point that out. Okay. And so now we have their other inventory of Partagas. Oh, excuse me. They do have Trinidad's here. Look at here. Um, for you Trinidad fans. If you're looking for Latrovas, they have Latrovas. They also have uh, Topes. ¿Cuánto cuesta pa, uh, para pieza por un, un tope? Uh -huh. Y un Latrova. 1,444 pesos. Okay, so let me just say, she said it's going to be 1,440, <clears throat> let's just say 1,450. So you're looking at about $80 to $85 for a single tope, uh, for one of the Trinidad topes. Okay, and these come in, of course, Trinidad comes in boxes, of, most of them come in boxes of 12s, the, the smaller boxes. So you just multiply 12 times that, and that's the cost of the box. Um, ¿Cuánto cuesta para las trovas? $2,438. So $2,400 uh, and change, which is basically going to be about $130 for Trinidad La Trova. They are also open here. So oh, okay. We'll yeah. see that. We'll see them open there. Great. Gracias. They do have the Partagas. Uh, or excuse me, the Maduros. Okay, so this is the Maduro number two, and the Maduro number twos are 812 pesos, uh, or roughly about 40, a little bit shy of 45 bucks. And then we have these are the N, no, Maduro number ones, and those are 814 dollars, excuse me, pesos, and so that's going to be about 43 bucks, right? Okay, let's go over here. They have, of course, Cohibas. Uh, I know you guys don't get to see this because even online, you're not going to really even be able to find a box of one of those Coronas Especiales. ¿Qué es eso? Es un A. Hey, they have a box of Lanceros. Mm -hmm. Okay, ¿cuánto costó por, uh, para un caja de Lanceros de Cohiba? Is oh, excuse me. Guys, here's something that's very special. And this is something that you don't see very often. Cohiba just released uh, a few years back a new Vitola called the Ambars. And I covered this actually in one of my videos. Uh, we're gonna, she's going to show it to you. But this, this I, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right now. I, uh, I have, um, I think about maybe 15 of these left. These are wonderful smokes. If you like Cohiba talismans, uh, you're gonna like the ambars. These are very beautiful and, uh, and perdón. The it's going to be about the size. It's gonna be, I think it's 54. Yeah. 54. So it's so a 54 ring gauge. What's noticeable on the ambars is there's a pigtail right on the end. Uh, and and these. Uh, you know, again, I know some of you are saying, well, no, they're fake. I, I didn't bring my blue light, but if you flash that blue light on the back of this band, which I have done 
uh, in a previous visit here, uh, but I didn't shoot the video, uh, the serial number on the back uh, does light up. So what we have here is for each, for Cohiba Ambars, and this is the first time I've seen Ambars here, because Cancun, the Cancun shop, no, no tienen cajas de, or, or piezas de Ambars. So maybe they were sold out, maybe they had them. But for a whopping 2,736 pesos, okay? So let's just say 2,740 pesos, okay? Guys, that is going to be about a $150 stick. Now, before you guys start crying and saying, oh, it's ridiculous, this is what they sell for in Europe. If not, they sell for more in Europa. This, these Cohiba Ambars were primarily shipped all to Europe in the European market. I have not seen Ambars in Mexico yet. This is the first, the, I've, I've seen them in this shop, yes, but not in other shops. Uh -huh. Muy raro, muy raro. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuántos cajas tiene, they tienes? They have one. They just have one. They have the open box where you can buy singles, and then they have a sealed box uh, there. So let's see the, let's see the uh, sealed box. Thank you. So what you'll notice, guys, here is they have the S.A. Habanos export label. Uh, and this was received in November of 2023. So more than likely, I'm going to say that this box was manufactured. Um, the box code, you know, it, if I open this box, um, what they do is you'll notice that the health seal's there. But if we open this box, uh, it will be, we'll be able to see the box code. Unfortunately, they don't, uh, they do not uh, break the seal unless you're going to buy it. So, but... Again, here's a serial code. If anyone wants to run that number, I haven't run the number yet. You can run that serial code, and maybe I will uh, run that serial code and check it. You know, why not? I'll run it. My hand's shaking, yeah, but that's what happens when you get old. Anyway, ¿Qué es la otra caja? There's another larger box here. Oh, these are the Maduro fives. So those are magicos. Okay. Okay, we got, uh, let's, let's carry on. Um, cuanto, uh, so they have some siglos. I know some of you guys are going to ask. What are the, que, uh, que es? siglo uno, dos, tres. Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, no, cinco, no, seis. 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 Okay, so they do have Cohiba siglo sixes. They have the Cohiba siglo sixes. Cuanto cuesta por pieza? Dos mil quinientos seis. Dos mil So wait a minute. Dos mil quinientos seis. So twenty five, two thousand five hundred pesos, which is going to be about one hundred and thirty ish, one hundred thirty five, maybe one hundred forty. And the Cohiba Ambars are two thousand seven hundred. I mean, guys, personally, if if I was going to spend two thousand five hundred, two thousand six hundred. Pesos or equivalent. If I was going to spend one hundred forty, one hundred fifty dollars a stick, which you know I wouldn't, but I'm just saying for all you rich guys out there, you know I'm not like you guys. Siglo six or the Ambar, I will tell you, choose the Ambars because these are fabulous. Uh, they do have Pyramidus extra. I have a box of these at home, and ooh we they are. 2,756 so they're almost the same price as the ambars which uh, both again are normal production but this is more of a, I don't want to say a limited it's a limited production although it's not a limited edition there's a difference um, but the pyramidas are uh, normal production sticks and so uh, I would not uh, necessarily buy those uh, for that price and these are Esplendidos. Esplendidos. Okay, you guys, take a look. Cohiba Esplendidos. And these are 2,945 pesos. And, and, you know, $150 for an Esplendido. Wow. I mean, I remember when Esplendido. Yo recuerdo cuando la precio para Esplendidos was $25. See? Wow. It was only three, four años atrás. So I'm telling the uh, sales, the manager here, that I remember when these were 25 bucks, maybe 30 max. 
But, um, you know, of course, when you have the most popular sizes of Cohiba, Siglo 6s, Esplendidos, of course, the prices are going to be higher. And, and again, guys, again, I don't, I, I get plenty of comments about, you know, okay, they're crazy, they can keep their prices, blah, blah, blah. I understand this, guys. Again, what I'm trying to do is I'm not trying to tell you guys, go out and buy these. These are great prices. What I'm trying to do is bring you prices from different shops in different countries so you can have a baseline to compare. Okay, that's all I'm trying to do. And we cover, uh, you know, my buying strategies as far as what I look for when I am going out and buying. Okay, we have Hoyo de Monterey's. They got some um, the uh, vegueros, but... Let's go. Hoyo de Monterrey's. Okay, great. Cuanto cuesta por this? What's the, what's the price? Que es la precio para la Epicure 2? Numero 2? 753. 753 pesos for the Hoyo de Monterrey Epicure number 2. Okay, so 7, let's see. That's about $40 a stick, roughly. Uh, they have Cuaba. Oh, look at here. They have Hoyo Double Coronas. Oh, this is a it's a cabinet box. It's 50 pies, 50 piezas. Very nice. A box of Hoyo double coronas. And let's see what the precio is. The price is awesome. one thousand about a thousand pesos. So you're looking at about you're looking at about a hundred and fifteen, hundred and twenty dollars a stick. Wow. But double coronas and Tienes un caja todo? Completa. Es Completa? No. No. Es la oh. única okay. But you don't really see cabinet boxes, um, you know, open in different in different shops. So that's pretty unique. Uh, as you guys remember, the uh, last year's festival opening night on Monday was a Monte Cristo. Uh, it was on Monday opening night, and one of the sticks that they gave away aside from the open slam was the Wide Edmundo. These sticks are very nice, they smoke very well, and here this one is going to be about $42, about $43, $44 uh, a stick uh, for the Wide Edmundos. We have the Monte Cristo, these are just the normal Edmundos for about $47, and then you have, oh look at, they have the um, they have the Monte Cristo 1935 Linnea, and these look like, these are like, I think these are the Dumas? Maltes. Oh, Maltes, excuse me. Uh, yeah, Maltes. Maltes. Uh, Dumas, that's right, Dumas, I get these confused all the time. The Dumas is a smaller Vitola. The Maltes, uh, I told some friends back when, when they, these were sold for $30 a stick to buy the boxes because they really enjoyed them, um, and they didn't listen to me, so now... The prices are going for, that's 1,700 pesos. So you're looking at about, I wanna say $65. So they're pretty much more than doubled, if not closer to $70. So they're more than doubled in price. And I remember when these used to be for sale for $20 a stick. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And these are the Leyenda? No, what are these? Oh, yeah. hey, no, 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 these are the, oh, hey, look at this. They have Monte Cristo, the, the 50th anniversary sticks. And I, I'll tell you something, guys. I have smoked these sticks. This is probably one of the best Monte Cristos that you can smoke out there. Personally, uh, I think. But again, price tag, 2,870 pesos, which comes out to about 150, 100, more, more than 150, 100, between 150 and $160. Uh, 50th anniversary, great stick, fabulous, fabulous stick. Oh, see, not 50th anniversary, my bad. It's the 80th anniversary. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm on this 50th kick here. Uh, but it's the 80th anniversary. Uh, a very fantastic smoke. And then, of course, going back to the Cohibas, they have the Maduro 5 line, uh, Magicos, Secretos. We have the Esplendidos as we covered, Pyramidas Extras, um, the Ambars, which is a rare find, a rare find. Um, Siglo 6s, all the Siglo series, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 6, and, and they have Cohiba Robustos. 
¿Cuánto costo, uh, cuesta para un pieza de robustos? $1,756. Okay, so the cost of the robusto is going to be about $90. 90 bucks. Uh, wow. They do have some of the special. It is, okay, let's go through this. We have Ramon Iones, the LCDH exclusivos, and uh, the LCDH exclusives, and these are for 607. Is 16 or 77? 617. 17. Okay, so 617, and that's going to run you about $34, $35. Um, we have also Partagas LCD Salomones. I'm not necessarily a big fan for about $65. Um, <clears throat> here are the Hoyo de Monterey's. Uh, these are the LCDs. I think these are called the Especial Elegantes. Elegantes. My time. I'm, I tell you guys, I don't know. Uh, I'm sort of tired and my family just left after the holidays. So, anyway. Elegantes, and this is a box that I bought in uh, Scotland, actually. I bought a box, that, no, excuse me, I bought a box in Maastricht at the LCDH in Maastricht, Netherlands. Um, I don't recall the price I paid for them. ¿Cuánto cuesta por pieza? 753. 753? Sorry, 761. Hmm? 761. Oh, 761. So it's going to be about $42. I probably, I think I paid about 30 I probably paid like between thirty to thirty-five dollars a stick uh, in the Netherlands. I, it might have been lower. I'm gonna go back and check that video with Dirk uh, from the shop in Maastricht because he sold me a box. So those were the elegantes. Um, they do have uh, Romeo Julieta, Year of the Rabbit. Cuanto cuesta por por caja completo? This is Cohiba. Oh, this, excuse me, that's the Cohiba. Oh, this is so the Cupidos. Oh, the Cupidos. Oh, Cupidos, not Stupidos, Cupidos. Uh, the Cupidos are, um, these are a LCDH exclusive. So, and this box is a whopping, ¿cuánto? 30,000. 30,000 pesos, which is going to run you about $2,300. Yes. Oh, okay, and that's the uh, Romeo and Julieta Cupidos. 3300 oh, oh, boy, I tell you, that's, uh, no, that's 30000 It's going to be about one, that's about $1,700 a box, which corresponds with the price per piece. And then this is the, oh, these are the Cohiba, uh, okay, <clears throat> Siglo de Oro. It's, oh, okay, it's Siglo de Oro. It's just the it's just the year of the rabbit. See, what's the price? Cuanto costo por caja? Okay, it doesn't have a price. Hey guys, we <laughs> we don't have a price. Okay. Let's see. Well, you figure if the Romeo Julieta is thirty mil. Cohiba is going to probably be 50 mil or 50,000. But anyway, um, I, I'm not a big fan, guys, of this whole, you know, the Chinese New Year releases. It's really more for the Asian market, to be honest with you. Uh, so I pass on any time. I'm not, and I've never tried one. Uh, but if anyone of you guys out there wants to send me one, um, leave your name and uh, yeah, comment. And uh, I would be more than happy uh, to do a swap with you. Uh, these are, these are, looks like regionals. What are these here? These are, oh, Ramon Iones. So this is, these are very nice. These are the um, Ramon Iones uh, regionals, the Perfectos. So they look similar uh, to the Hoyo Elegantes. Oh, here we go right here. She has the box. These are the regionals uh, for made from Mexico. Now, Mexico, they made three regionals for Mexico in the last three years. Uh, they made a Monte Cristo regional, which I still to this day cannot find. It's very rare. They made the Ramon Iones Perfectos, which is a Mexico exclusivo or exclusive for, it's a regional uh, Mexico stick. And also Punch made a, a regional for Mexico called the El Duque. And that is uh, Guinness, no. Guinness, El Duques, no? 
No, no they are sold out. Oh, they are sold out. Uh, they're very nice. I have a couple of boxes aging uh, at home in my humidor. Um, but the Ramon Ionis, I picked up. Yo, yo, compran tres cajas pasado mes. So I bought three boxes because uh, a couple of friends of mine um, requested um, to pick up a box for them. Trinidad. <clears throat> these are the Trinidad. These are, these are the La Trovas. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Those are the La Trovas. And then here are the Topes. The Topes. Okay. Topes. Okay, guys. So uh, pretty much. Uh, oh, I see right here Ramon Ionis. Especially select. No, no, no. This is the club, club Ionis. Oh no. Uh, yeah, it's superiores. The uh, superiores. That's right, because superiores is the LCDH. And how much is this per box? Cuanto cuesta por caja? Six thousand. Six thousand. So about three, three hundred bucks for a box of superiores. Yep. Yep. Times have changed. Times have changed. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, you know. <clears throat> Again, I'm not going to comment on the prices. The prices are what they are. Um, you know, just like Ford F-150s are up into the 80,000 bucks. You can cry all you want about the prices, but they are what they are. And so you either have to make a choice. You're going to still smoke Habanos. Well, you can search out different, uh, different Habanos in different countries at the different shops get a price comparison and a baseline that's all I'm trying to give you I've done a video on what I look for when I buy my Habanos uh, I do I plan on going to have back to Havana this year uh, just not for the festival um, I'm probably gonna go after the festival and I will report back on what I find there as far as prices go but again comparing the prices in Havana they've gone up as well but again Comparing the prices in Havana against all the other LCDHs in different countries, I think that's the goal and my, the, my aim to the content that I want to bring you.